sorry about that. Hey YouTube, this is Praxis Prepper, and yes, that is the dead uh, turkey cadaver that I uh, cleaned out in that last video. Obviously, animals have gotten to it. They've started eating it away, and good for them because they're cleaning that area out. Hopefully, when all this snow melts next spring, you know, that whole area is as clean as a whistle. I can just eat right off the ground. That's my hope. So this is a Praxis mini episode. Um, it's going to be a little on the long side just because it's a little bit long-winded, but it's just one really quick topic, and I thought it worked more as a mini than anything else. Um, first off, thank you everyone for your great comments on the uh, the turkey video. Um, I appreciated all of your advice and it made me feel great to know that uh, some of you really appreciated me putting that out there, just seeing someone that's kind of a novice doing this. My favorite comment was somebody said that they themselves had felt like the, a novice until they saw me and then they felt like an expert. Those weren't their words, but that was pretty much what they were saying. So I'm glad I made their, their day in that regard. So, uh, Shit hits the fan. Total collapse. Uh, I've, I've oftentimes said that I don't think hunting is a particularly great strategy uh, if you're relying on that. Because if you live near, uh, well, for people who live near any kind of a populated area, uh, because the, if you live near any number of people, the, the, those hunting resources, those animal resources, are going to get gobbled up pretty quickly. Um, so if you're relying on that, I think that's a, that's a bad plan. You need to have other plans that work in concert with that. Obviously, after the human population goes down and the animal populations are allowed to rebound, then, you know, you get a shot at doing that again. But there's going to be that, that period after people have decimated the resource. And I don't mean decimated. I hate when people misuse, misuse the word decimated. Do you know what decimated means? It sounds really bad, doesn't it? I'm going to decimate the fingers on my hand. Bang. That's it. It's taking one away from ten. It's taking ten percent. It comes from an old process in Rome where the, uh, some general was punishing his own soldiers for, I don't know, doing something minor probably. Uh, and he was having ten, he got ten of them and they picked one and they all beat the other one, to, beat that one to death. So he brought his, his army down by ten percent. I mean, that was horrible and all, but, um, you know, people say decimated, like, it, like, means that, like, only 10% is left or something, but actually decimating something is not really all that destructive. Anyway, back to the point. After the uh, animal populations are, you know, destroyed, they'll, they'll bounce back, and then you can do it. But um, in the meantime, people are probably going to be, you know, nibbling away at, at uh, smaller game. You know, the, the deer and the, you know, big turkeys and things like that will, will go away pretty quickly, and then... You know, get down to the rats and the mice and the snakes. And this is about snakes that I want to talk about. Um, snake, killing snake is kind of horrible. And I wanted to share this with people just so if you're ever in a position where you have to kill a snake, that you, um, you're kind of prepared for what you're in for. I was around some people that were killing, uh, killing a snake. Uh, they were... Um, for, for eating it. Uh, they, they were doing some uh, you know, living off the land survival. I was shooting a video with them. They were unsuccessful in catching the marmots they were looking for, uh, but they did catch a snake and because they were hungry they decided to eat the snake. The way that they decided uh, to kill it was they were going to cut the head off. That makes sense. You know, it's a nice, quick, clean, humane way of killing the animal. They put it up against a tree, sort of like this, put the head up, took a large knife and drove the knife through. It didn't happen that fast though. They were, the person was kind of surprised by how hard it was to push the knife through. It actually took a lot longer than I think any of us would have chosen for the snake, but eventually it got through. I, a good way might have been to put a knife on the back and then whack it with a uh, you know, log or something to drive the knife through really quickly. But anyway, they got the head off. And then the next step is to take the skin off of the snake. So they use a knife to start going after the skin and the, uh, the, snake, the snake's body was wriggling. Uh, and that's not surprising, you know, animals do that. People probably, I've never seen someone shot, I'm not going to say whether people do that or not. Um, I, I've seen it in movies, but who knows what happens in films. Animals, frequently when they, they get killed, or, you know, parts of their body are still doing things, um, and, you know, that, you know, that happens. It's like chemical reactions, shooting off randomly, and the muscles are all twitching. Well, this snake was not randomly twitching. This snake was reacting to the knife going into it. And what do I mean by that? They're holding it, and they're poking to get the the, uh, the knife down through the skin so they could start peeling it. And it is, the body is reacting and recoiling exactly the same way that it would if the thing was alive. Like, if you're poking it down here, it recoils away from that area. Now, what I know about snake anatomy, um, which is very little, uh, <laughs> is that uh, so some of their, their 
thinking capacity is sort of distributed down the spinal cord. It's not all up in the head. So removing the head didn't necessarily get rid of all of its ability to experience itself being skinned. So the, the snake seemed to be, um, and may have been, experiencing itself being skinned while sort of quasi still alive. Um, and that was pretty horrible. They were going through and they were pulling the skin off and it was reacting the way, you know, you or I or, or a snake would react if we were being skinned without being dead. And that was, it was pretty dreadful to watch. But um, they eventually got all the skin off of the thing. Um, and uh, yeah, the, the motion sort of died down over time. And then they're going to cook it over some coals. They put it on the coals after it's like, you know, it's not moving anymore. And then, whew, it reacted as though you or I or a living snake might if, if we were thrown onto hot coals. And it writhed there on the, on the coals as it's being cooked alive, maybe. Um, and it was, it was dreadful. I, I, you know, I, I like being a vegetarian because <laughs> I don't have to ethically, you know, uh, deal with a lot of that stuff most of the time. I, I know most people pretend that meat is like, you know this like food substance that comes from you know the store or whatever and that's how pe a lot of people deal with it um you know i'd like to keep it more real um but uh yeah <laughs> I, I i enjoy being a vegetarian it's uh, a lot less morally complex than uh than uh, dealing with all that stuff but anyway i wanted to share that story so if you ever find yourself uh in that situation where you have to kill um you know a snake or maybe even some lizards and things like that to kind of be aware of what you're getting yourself into. Not that I'm saying, you know, let your family starve so that you don't have to look at a snake do that. I mean, but, uh, you know, maybe not have the kids around <laughs> when it happens. Just to know what you're getting into, you know. <sighs> Survival and, and disaster, you know, it, it, a lot of it sucks, you know. We do what we do now to make it suck a little bit less. Uh, and have fun. I think it's fun to do this kind of stuff too. But uh, hopefully our preparations can make uh, ever going through this, you know, suck just just that little bit less and if you're ever gonna have to go through the process of eating a snake yeah just be ready for that i hear it tastes like chicken though that's what they said so you can look forward to that <laughs> thanks for watching please subscribe and tune in every friday at 4:30 new york time for a new video